In this video, we will discuss the second part of gene expression, which is translation. First, let's identify the different components involved in translation. They are mRNA, tRNA, ribosomes, large subunit and small subunit, and termination factor protein. The first step in translation is initiation process. During initiation, the small subunit of ribosome will bind to the 5' cap protein. Next, the small subunit will start to move along the mRNA transcript and look for the first codon, which is the start codon. Once the small subunit of ribosome recognizes the start codon, a molecule of tRNA with anticodon complementary to the start codon will form complementary base pairing. Notice that the tRNA will bring along a specific type of amino acid. The final step in initiation is the binding of the large subunit to the small subunit of ribosome. Once the large subunit of ribosome attached to the small subunit of ribosome, it will make sure that the first tRNA will be placed inside the P site of the ribosome. At this point, both the E and the A site are empty. So that was the initiation of translation. The second stage in translation is elongation. Elongation is a three-step cycle process involving codon recognition, peptide bond formation, and translocation. During codon recognition, the tRNA with specific anticodon will enter the A site and form complementary base pairing with the codon in the A site. After that, ribosome will catalyze the formation of peptide bond between amino acid in the P site with amino acid in the A site. This process is known as the peptide bond formation, which is the second step in elongation of translation. Next is translocation. The ribosome will shift to the next codon along the mRNA transcript. Movement of the ribosome will cause the tRNA previously in the P site now has moved into the E site, while the tRNA in the A site now has moved into the P site. The A site is now empty. Next, the tRNA in the E site will be removed from the ribosome, leaving the E site empty. With the A site now empty, the next round of elongation can occur, starting with codon recognition, followed by peptide bond formation, and then finally translocation. The cycles of elongation will continue up until when a stop codon enters the A site. As elongation continues to take place, the sequence of codon which enters the A site will determine which specific tRNA will form complementary base pairing, thus bringing in a specific amino acid. So this is how the sequence of codon along the mRNA will determine the sequence of amino acid present in the protein. All of these amino acids are bonded together by peptide bond.
Determination of translation will take place when a stop codon enters the A side of the ribosome. So there are three different types of stop codon, UAA, UGA, or UAG. So if either one of the stop codon enters the A side, termination will start. During termination, the stop codon in the A site is recognized by a protein known as termination factor protein. Previously, during elongation, we see that each codon is recognized by a specific tRNA. However, this is not the case for stop codon. So stop codon is recognized by a protein, not by a tRNA. So during termination, the termination factor protein will enter the A site instead of tRNA. The transcription factor will cause the small and the large subunit of ribosome to dissociate from each other, thus releasing the protein from the ribosome. That is the end of translation.